what's going on everyone juice bags here and welcome back to some dungeon defenders 2 and another progression tutorial now uh, this is the second one ever in this series know your enemies and of course the best way to progress is to know what you're going to be fighting against and how you can plan for it so let's take a look at the bads now first off uh, if we go to any chaos tier trials and we click on the chaos info button up top we're going to see all of the different threats encountered by Chaos Tier. Now, Chaos 1, we're going to get Vanguards. Now, all these mobs, of course, are in addition to all the usual baddies that everyone has discovered through the campaign mode. Uh, however, each Chaos Tier is going to introduce another group altogether. So, uh, once again here, Chaos 1, we got the Vanguards, or the Shield Goblins. Uh, these guys are deflection experts, and you must use either some sort of AoE defense, uh, flamethrowers, flame auras, uh, ramsters, anything that's AoE and not projectile. If you do want to use projectile towers, then simply just move them back behind them, shooting towards your, your blocks or walls or whatever you're using, so that you're not hitting the vanguards from the front. And, of course, this will uh, eliminate some of their damage absorption and make it a lot easier for you to take them down. If you have cannons or PDTs or something like that just firing into the front of them, you could have quite the problem with the little shieldies. Now, on Chaos 2, the vanguards are gone, and we have cyborgs. Now, cyborgs are the EMP orcs that you hear people talking about. They like to disable ground traps, uh, traps, auras... Uh, EV nodes, anything that you throw on the ground itself is going to get disabled by the cyborgs. Now, a couple of easy fixes for the cyborgs is first off, don't put your stuff all in a row. Uh, if you scatter your R's around a little bit, that's going to make, make it so that the cyborg hits one or maybe two of them and not all of your R's or traps. So definitely spread them around a little bit with the cyborgs. Now, on Chaos 3, the vanguards are back, so we got the little shieldies again. Plus, we have Geodes. Now, Geodes have this very obvious large shield, and uh, they're going to surround a pack of mobs, essentially, and render any power level of projectile tower essentially useless until the Geode gets burned down. Now, um, once again, any sort of AoE, flamethrowers, ramsters, and so forth are going to shoot through the Geode, and all they deflect is projectiles. Anything else is fair game. Now, Chaos 4, we've got the Berserkers, or uh, they are lovingly referred to as the Lady Orcs. Now, the Berserkers are going to just march on out and sprint down the lanes ahead of the pack. The nice part about this is, is it is going to trigger some of these slow-moving uh, trap attacks, such as, like, Sandstorm, and potentially any EMP Orcs or baddies behind them won't be able to disable that particular trap since it's already set off. However, the Berserkers are immune to any sort of slowing effects. So, stun works and knock-up works. However, if you're trying to slow these guys down, good luck with that, as they're just going to march right on through and have their way with your blockades. Now, in Chaos 5, we all know about the Dark Assassins. The Assassins are currently one of the hardest learning curves in the game. Uh, once you learn to deal with the Assassins and adjust with how they how they function, it makes your life quite a bit easier. Now the assassins, of course, are going to jump on you and just start stabbing you repeatedly in the face until they are either stunned off of you or dead. Um, actually, they usually pop off of you before they die, so they're either stunned off of you or a large percentage of their health is gone. Now, you can use stunning defenses such as cannonballs, uh, sand traps. Once once again, work. Uh, anything that's going to stun will take the Dark Assassins right off of you with no problem. Same thing with knock-up. Uh, any sort of knock-up. So if you have a geyser trap or if you have mystic walls and you run over to the front of them with an assassin riding your back, it's going to pop those bads right off of there for you. Now, another important thing to note with Dark Assassins is how your defenses will attack them. While they are attached to you and attacking you, they are a ground mob. So any of your ground defenses are going to hit those Dark Assassins. Once they break free and they're off of you, they're then flying mobs. And your Sky Guards or anything that's going to hit flying uh, bads is going to go ahead and start wrecking up on those Dark Assassins. Now in Chaos 6, we've got the Hex Throwers. 
Now, another important thing to note in Chaos 5, there are also geodes, there are also cyborgs, and there are also vanguards. Now, originally, and berserkers, of course, the Lady Orcs are there throughout the rest of the Chaos tiers. Now, in Chaos 5, originally the geodes weren't supposed to be there, and there's only one geode on way 4 and one ge geode on way 5 that you have to deal with, and it's usually best just to prepare for that and run on out and hop right on them. Now in Chaos 6, we've got the Hex Throwers. In addition to the Hex Throwers, we're going to have Assassins, we're going to have Berserkers, we're going to have Geodes, we're going to have Cyborgs, and I believe there's even Vanguards. So uh, Chaos 6 has got almost the full enchilada there, and uh, Hex Throwers, as you see in their description, with their mighty javelins, hex throwers can curse your defenses from long range, and they do mean long range. Uh, one thing that you find out really, really quick in Chaos 6, if you do have an EV2, is that reflect walls are your friend. They are the absolute superhero in Chaos 6 and make life so much easier. Now, you don't have to have the reflect walls to get the job done, but you are going to have to f focus on these hex throwers, as they're going to stay way out at range and just take shots at all your defenses. So uh, get out there and kill those hex, for, hex throwers for the win in Chaos 6. Now on Chaos 7, we've got the Mighty Cobalt. Now, Cobalts are kind of like the dive bombing flyers. However, they are going to disable any defenses that they dive down and explode onto. They also hit like an absolute truck, so any defenses that are fully maximized for the damage that they're going to do are going to get wiped out without a problem with a Cobalt diving into them. Now, another important thing with the Cobalts is they don't come, even though they're flyers, they do not come out of the flyer lanes. They come out of the normal lanes with the mobs. And what makes it a lot easier to deal with these is having something ready on each particular lane that's going to take out ground and flyers. Uh, Cobalts are a big reason as to why Flame Auras are uh, such kind of an OP meta, as well as weapon manufacturers right now, because of course those defenses both hit ground mobs and flyers, plus there's no EMP orcs to take them out in Chaos 7. Hope this helps everyone out and hopes it helps you plan for your next jump up in Chaos tier. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I would be absolutely happy to answer them. And thank you very much for watching. Uh, click that like button and subscribe if you like what you see. And I will be back soon with more DD2. See y'all. Thank you.